Welcome to ET Insights, the one show that brings you a 360 degree view of what's happening in business and economy. I'm Supriya Srinath and here's what we have for you on the show today. Anna Hazare's anti-corruption movement has taken India by storm. But who orchestrated the movement and who built the brand Anna? And even though the government has blinked, it's nowhere close to eradicating corruption. So what really is the solution? Our top story first, he's a masked leader, the man who has brought the government down on its knees, but he's also been called a civil terrorist. Love him or hate him, but there is no ignoring the 74-year-old Anna Hazare. While Anna is really the face of the largest people's movement that India has seen in recent times, there is a full host of very tech-savvy and smart youngsters who've been working tirelessly to ensure that his movement is a success. Nikhil Shivdas gets us a sneak peek into the action behind the scenes. He is a force to reckon with and standing up for him are well-known faces who are stalwarts in their own right. The movement is simple and picture perfect on the face of it. But there's a complicated web of volunteers who are working around the clock that's the driving force of Anna's massive movement. At the heart of this campaign is technology. Since the creators of the movement did not have mass support when they started out, technology played a key role. That was how what is now one of the most popular websites, India Against Corruption, started out. And the man responsible for this is California-based entrepreneur Pran Kurup. Pran is the president and CEO of Vitalect Inc. and has co-founded the alumni website of his alma mater, IIT Karakpur. We figured that for a movement like this, um, we absolutely need to have a website to get the word out. Now, did we actually physically all sit down together, brainstorm and meet? Absolutely not. I think in this day and age, part of what technology provides is the you know, ability to you know, have people from remote parts of the world collaborate. In fact, I have not met most of the people who have you know, actively involved in this. Uh, movement. It's mostly done through email, it's done through chat, it's done through Skype. We leverage pretty much, you know, any technology that is out there that is available. Initially created as a platform to create awareness, the website soon turned into a major platform for the movement against corruption. Today, the website connects the common man to the movement. Here, one can access details of daily events, connect with volunteers and also find videos and reading material on the movement. The website connects volunteers of the movement to those who want to get involved in any way. It links the movement through several locations across India and the world and has 12 primary chapters. Each chapter functions as a separate unit and manages all activities relating to the movement in the specified area. For instance, 41-year-old Piyush Bhatia is the man driving the Mumbai chapter. He is the director of a center that teaches English in Kandiwali in North Mumbai and has converted his own office into the nerve center of the movement in the region. Initially we started with around 11 uh, different station leaders, local leaders, uh, but slowly it expanded. Right now we are uh, inputting around 80 events every day. So volunteers from all over Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, Kalyan, they get in touch with us that they are having a rally of 50, 60, 70, 2000 people. They send SMSs to us, we update that on website, we arranged all the merchandise for them and that's the kind of uh, work we do. Each chapter has three basic functions. To create awareness and engage local volunteers, spread Anna Hazare's messages through media like the internet and mobile phone, and to handle on-ground events like this one at Azad Maidan in Mumbai. Most of the people working at these centers are professionals who also double up as workers for the movement. For instance, 26-year-old Rohit Tharlalka is an investment analyst at a leading brokerage firm. He's a part of the Mumbai chapter and is responsible for communication via mobile and the internet. I basically act as a link between the event organizing team and our volunteers on the field. 
and the media and the general public at large who are interested in receiving information on our events. So as as and when I receive information on any event happening throughout the day, I, sp I use that information and spread it to our contacts in the media and the general public at large through various social networking sites, our, our Mumbai website, as well as SMS services and phone calls. Hello sir, I'm Chitranjan Bola, India Against Corruption Mumbai Office. From professionals to self-employed people like Chitranjan Dubey, a filmmaker and a former software professional, Dubey now uses his spare time in promoting and managing fasting centres in Mumbai. We are planning that there should be 100 distributed small fasting centers where people should come on fast for a single day and they will keep changing. For example, if there is a society and there are 500 people and they want to come on the fasting, but the same person is not going to continue you know, for so many days. So a, a single person will come, he will fast for one day, then next person will come, he will fast for one day. So in this way, we can go for a longer period. <laughs> There are several such relatively unknown young volunteers who are making Anna's movement a big success. From those on the ground to the ones that are higher in the ranks. Like 34-year-old Shivendra Singh Chauhan, who is responsible for the social media strategy of the movement. Currently employed with NavbharatTimes.com, Chauhan is a person who ideates and conceptualizes communication on popular social networking sites like Twitter, Facebook and Orkut. Much of the credit of the success of Anna's movement goes to social networking. After all, nearly 6 lakh people are a part of the social media network of the movement. Well, I'd say it has been very significant and you know very important in, uh, in uh, creating the brand team Anna because social media is the medium that took us out of Delhi that took us uh, across the nation and not just across the nation but globally as well you know we are now present in small towns even villages almost all cities of India Andaman, Sikkim everywhere and almost all all uh, cities in across US, UK and uh, you know Asia, Southeast Asia Wherever Indians are present, we are present and that spread has happened due to social media. The power of the platform is undeniable, particularly when it comes to interacting with the public. A lesson that several arms of the government have now learnt a tool which governments should use much more uh, because even while it may not be uh, spread over the entire population of the country uh, it is reaching out also to the influencers of opinion from the power of social networking to mobile communications Anna's team seem to have it all sorted out this month alone some 6,000 users have downloaded apps that are created specifically for the moment by this daily based team of three 31-year-old Michael Massey is an independent mobile app developer. 28-year-old Nishan Deen is an entrepreneur and 21-year-old Deepansh Jain is an independent software engineer and mobile app developer. The team's association with Anna is not new. They voluntarily created a mobile app called the Anna Hazare app a few months ago when Anna went on his first fast. But this time is different. They are closely associated with the movement and have created specific apps for Android and Nokia phones that can be downloaded on the India Against Corruption website. We approached them uh, to make an uh, to make uh, to take this movement uh, one step forward through by reaching up uh, every man pocket so that uh, every man can get to know what's happening uh, through the events and where he can go and get the content relevant content. So each and every person can, common person can support this movement. Next in line is the media management team which has a well laid out plan and ensures that the cause gets the required attention. The role of the media strategy team is crucial. This team ensures that the top people are all speaking the same language and conveying a uniform message. It decides and debates on talking points and also allegedly supplies breaking news to TV channels at regular intervals. Anna's media strategy team consists of TV journalists who are well versed with the medium and includes Manish Sisodia, a former producer at Z News and Shazia Ilmi, former anchor at Star News. Right from Jantar Mantar days to Ramlila, 
it's been a complete uh, gamut of uh, uh, different kind of responsibilities we we also we also go to various places uh, mobilizing people we think of what kind of pamphlets have to be given out we also monitor news on a regular basis and we see as to how certain arguments that are being put forward which we understand are there to obfuscate the real issue how to kind of uh, uh, communicate them so what is it that sets brand anna apart the most powerful thing about anna azare and and what we call the you know brand anna is uh, the fact that he in a sense corresponds to nothing that is familiar in today's context the voice of people was never heard like this before and nobody knew how to deal with him i think the usual tactics were, were used uh, in in terms of handling with him and i think uh, those statements which statesmen which statements which were made about him were quite sad you know if you listen to them now and you see how things have progressed i think there is a lot of learning but the factor that contributed the most to the success of brand anna is the government itself it underestimated the power of the movement and did not have any clear strategy in place at a time when the least that should have been done was to have managed public perception in a better manner in 1947 we were proud of our politicians we saw them as noble people who had sacrificed all for the nation today they say are seen as a bunch of opportunists thugs and profiteers kitna bhrashtachar kiya उतना पैसा उसे वसूल करेगा इन शार्प कॉन्ट्रास्ट अन्ना अ रिलेटिवली अननोन एक्टिविस्ट फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र इज नाउ परसीव्ड टू बी द मेसाया ऑफ अ करप्ट फ्री इंडिया ही इज द फेस ऑफ व्हाट्स नाउ ऑफन रेफर्ड टू एज इंडियाज सेकंड फ्रीडम मूवमेंट लेट अस नाउ शिफ्ट फोकस एंड टॉक अबाउट द रूट कॉज बिहाइंड दिस एंटायर केयर्स एंड दैट इज रैंपेंट करप्शन So what can India do to contain it? That and a whole lot more is coming up after this very short break.